Good morning, Marcia. Welcome to Holly's Hot Toad Wedding Tips. It's so good to have you talking to us from Littleton's Woodlawn Floral about floor, flowers. How exciting. What are the current trends this year in flowers for weddings? Uh, anything goes anymore, it seems like. There's so much with the different colors that it used to be there was one thing, all white. Everybody wanted white. Really? But yeah, now huh. it's like everything because there's people who like very uh, mountainy type weddings right. because of where we are in Colorado. And then there's those who want a completely contemporary, all out kind of design. So Interesting. It's, yeah, the only thing that I have noticed is there is more of a trend towards local. Really? They'll choose flowers that are local over bringing them over from, say, Holland or Ecuador. So uh huh. They'll ask what's available locally. Well, that's good. I like yeah. supporting the local flowers yeah. and local business. That's great. What's the most unusual wedding arrangement you've ever made? one that she wanted gardenias and even really? though gardenia is normal it's not normal anymore really when was gardenia popular before oh you would see them like in the grand days of like in the 50s really like ones that went to the floor uh-huh you don't get them people don't get those long cascading ones that go down to the floor anymore and gardenias are always oh they're so delicate uh -huh. and they're so they bruise uh -huh. easily but you have but we got to do like a whole bunch of Fun. That's beautiful. What's the most common mistake you see couples making? Oh, common. They don't, they think they're prepared, but they really aren't. The okay. Little details probably overwhelm them more than the big picture. Like they get stuck on all these little, little things instead of realizing, you know, looking at the whole entire day. Right. Okay. So it's certainly big picture versus picture, detail yeah. oriented. I got yeah. that. That's wild. Okay. What don't couples know about floral arrangements that they need to know for weddings? It's important that they don't just copy something. That they uh -huh. add their what they really like. With Pinterest so popular, you can see a gazillion things. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's so overwhelming, they think, well, that's what's in style. And they forget to throw in their their little things that they like. Like maybe they like, um, blue has always been a favorite, but blue's maybe not in any of the pictures they've been looking at. And so they sort of toss oh, it out. Huh. So I think sometimes our massive information sort of gets in the way of really customizing it towards them. Good. All about them yeah. on their wedding. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, what questions should couples be asking about floral that they don't think to ask when they come see you? Hmm. I like to remind them of things, traditions. Uh, a lot of people are sort of you don't talk about much about traditions much uh -huh. anymore. Everyone's starting their own new thing. Uh -huh. But I like to ask what maybe their mother or grandmother carried or if there's a favorite in the garden that they like because sometimes they people do know that garden flowers are different than you know cut flowers but I like them to think about what is something that would um, bring a connection not just now to their day but also bring in a little um, their relatives history or family traditions Awesome, so tying their past with their present. Mm -hmm. Exciting. What's the best piece of advice for couples that you have about planning a wedding? Oh, to relax. <laughs> oh, relax, there you go, yeah, right. <laughs> they, they do get a little tense about flowers, and yet the flowers, to me, should be the easiest, fun part. Getting a venue is hard, you have to do that, getting, um, you know, your, your tuxes and the attire is important and takes more time, but flowers, they should be able to just relax and, and not have those kind of feelings of stress that, you know, it's not timing so much as it is that they pick what is for them. Now, it's not about, yes, things come and go in season, but you can get anything anywhere in the world nowadays. That's pretty exciting. So. We can ship it from anywhere. How wonderful. What's your best advice just when they're planning 
How will you, what would you recommend they do to help them relax when they're planning? Oh. I think outings. If they go out to some of these, a lot of times, I know especially my kids, they look at everything on their phones. Right. But if you go out to a place and you go out to areas they like and they see things, I think in person, I think that makes it a little more, I don't know, I think less stressful on one hand because they actually see something and then they sort of right away they know if, oh, this is just this, what I'd like to do, I'd like to do outdoor. Or no, this is a beautiful church building, I love this, let's just do here. But if you just look it on your phone, I think sometimes it's hard to really get that feel of where they really will be comfortable doing something, having an event. Wonderful. What tips do you have for mothers helping their kids plan their weddings? Seeing as it sounds like you planned or helped your kids plan a few weddings, huh? Oh, no. No, <laughs> no not my kids. Yet. Not your kids, huh? They did that all on their own. On their own, oh, yes. My son eloped to Las Vegas. So we oh, there you go. <laughs> I didn't get to do flowers. He did do a reception. But anyway. Oh, good. Uh, I think for parents, the hardest thing is to just wait. You're waiting on them, and you can encourage them with timing and getting their venues and choosing their floors. But, you know, it's you have to wait because they have they go through so much information, you know, like I said with the internet and Facebook, Pinterest, that they're just gathering so much. It just takes time to really sift through it on and for a parent they just have to wait. <laughs> Not my favorite thing to do. <laughs> How would you we what would you recommend a bride and groom do to pick the right florist? What steps should they take? What should they consider when they're looking at a florist? I think experience and sort of their taste also. I wouldn't say price because anyone can do any price and any good florist can do any price. So it's really not a price as much as it's about being confident that they will do what they say. There's a trust you have to build. So is there a, when you're talking to them, interviewing a shop, is there a confidence level of trust? Because they can say lots of things and most florists are, are pretty good salespeople, but do you feel that warmth and trust with them that you do believe they'll get the right flower? You do believe that they understand what you like? Because if you don't have that, and they're just saying, oh yes, we can do it for a buck fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then you gotta wonder, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that would, that would be my advice, to really find somewhere where you feel you connect and can trust that they will do what they say and have the experience to do it. Awesome, thank you so much. Oh, this was welcome. delightful.